this video, we are going to explore the picture tool in 3D Coats Paint Workspace. It works similar to what you find with the text tool and the curves tool in that they have their own unique layers that are created when you utilize the tool on a selected layer. For example, if I were to delete this one and create a new one, as soon as I begin to create something with the picture tool, it will generate its own special or unique layer. When you click on the icon on the left hand side, it will put you into an edit mode essentially, which puts you back in the same position that you had the tool when you created this layer and it memorizes the settings as well. So you can begin making edits if you need to. The same applies to the text layers and the shape layers using the curves tool. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on the logo icon again on this layer. And I can make some adjustments with the small transform widgets here. Now, if I don't want this color tint, this foreground color being applied, I can right mouse button click to disable the foreground color or uh, I can just pick a different color. But I'll leave it white as it is. And again, I can use these widgets to move it along the surface. I can scale it or rotate it. Now, the previously painted information is obscuring my view. What I can do is hit the delete key. We do have an option like with the other two tools to clear the layer before applying. So it's going to clear any paint information that I have previously applied whenever I hit the apply button or the enter key. But in this case, I don't want anything obstructing my preview. So I will just clear the layer ahead of time. So I hit the delete key and make sure you have enabled the channels that you want to remove. Okay, so if you disable a channel, it's not going to remove that information. Okay, so uh, once more, I can move it about. And when I'm happy, I can go ahead and hit the enter key or the apply button. Now you can set the different texture maps here in the tool options panel. In this case, I'm using the color and the depth textures from this logo. You can flip the image. You can also <clears throat> add some fall off if you need. In this case, I don't want any. Uh, you can also add instances like that. You can make it a closed curve. It's also a good idea to make sure to add points so that it follows the curvature or the shape of the surface. In this case, you can see there's a bump on the hood here. I will hit the enter key now. And it's already applied. I can hit the escape key. And if I need to get back to it, I can always click on that icon to get back to this. Also, let's say you have set up a few different previews or images that you want to utilize. You can always save it and load it later if you want. Now that that's created, I'll go ahead and hit the escape key. And let's try to add another instance of that somewhere else. Let's say maybe here. I'm going to go ahead and just hide that. I'll create a brand new layer. And with a picture tool, I'm going to use the same image for the logo. I'll click the left most boundary and knowing I have a little bit of a curved surface, I may want to add an intermediate point and then another one. Okay. And I can come back to make edits to the individual points if I need. If I need to delete a point, I can hover over it and hit the delete key. And this is also another way to rotate if you need. And then once you have rotated it the way you want, you can uh, come back and add an intermediate point if you need. As you can see, 
I have a green highlight indicating that 3D Coat will place a point there when I left mouse button click. Again, I can click equalize and then two line to straighten that line if I need. Also, if you need to create um, a hard point, let me delete these two here. I'll move that up. And for whatever reason, uh, if you want to try to harden this point, you can choose toggle hardness and then just pick that point. You can also hit escape to get out of that mode. What I'm going to do is click that toggle hardness if I want to put it back the way it was and click it once again. All right. And then hit escape to drop that mode, if you will. And then I'll go back to the line option. Okay. Now, obviously, you can uh, modulate the width here. I'll set that back to one. And you can increase the depth as well bit here. This is basically your opacity. So <clears throat> when I reduce that, I don't really see anything with a preview, but when I hit the enter key or apply button, then you can see that the color opacity is very minimal. Okay. So I will click on this again, put that back at one and I have cleared the layer before applying checked. So again, I'll hit the enter key or the apply button and hit escape to drop that preview. And we can see how that looks. Now, if you want to modulate the glossiness, you can do that per layer here. And come back after the fact and reduce the depth if you need, as well as the opacity. Okay, so we'll delete that layer. And that is a quick look at using the picture tool in 3D Coats Paint Workspace. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.